everybody and welcome back to ibex running i'm coach rachel and today we have a one two three interval workout for you so if you miss any speed or incline changes i don't want you to worry because we're going to have all that displayed for you to see right over here and then if you look over onto the opposite side of your screen you're going to see this nice long progression bar and that's going to show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout two things let's make sure we have a towel and a water bottle handy and if you're ready to get sweaty let's look down at that tread hit that start button in three in two and one here we go two five three five two five three five on that pace we're here for a minute we're warming up the body take a nice good deep inhale right mentally prepare yourself for 40 minutes of work all right so these one two three intervals these i like this a lot because we're gonna start with our fastest pace, shortest time, and then we're gonna decrease, okay? What does that mean? We're gonna slowly lower the pace, but we're gonna add on more time. Usually we do this concept in reverse. You're gonna get a whole different type of workout today, okay? So we're gonna take it into a warm up jog. We got about 20 seconds, so give me a little bit more on this warm up. Maybe roll the shoulders down and back. We take it to a warm up jog, and that's gonna be for three minutes. So we start four five to a six five. Take your time, you have three minutes to slowly warm up your body. You do not have to go zero to 100. So we start four five perhaps, and three, two, pick it up. Okay, we're starting out that four five. Maybe every 10, 15 seconds, you add on point one, point two. Make your way up to a nice comfortable place. Now. With that, our paces are gonna start 5090. I know our warm up ends, right? The warm up pace is 4565. If you're gonna run at a five, right? 5-5, five, five, go a little bit faster at the end of this warm up. I'm telling you, it's going to help, okay? So give me a little bit more pace. We're 30 seconds in. Because if you go a little bit faster, right? And then you start a little bit slower, you're already gonna be ahead of the game. Right, it's just all playing mental tricks on yourself. So, we're 45 seconds in. Maybe give me a little bit more. Again, 10 seconds. Right, we're almost into that first minute. Eight, six, five, four, three. Give me a little bit more. A little bit more. You got it. So, one minute down. Two minutes in this warm up. We go back to a walk. And then we go right into our first block, okay? It's gonna be fun. Intervals, you know, everybody loves a good interval run. The good news is we get the hard one done first, okay? The hard one's done first. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Give me a little bit more. Add it on, add it on. You got it. We're four, five, six, five, slowly increasing our pace in this warm up. Slowly warming up the body. Right, focusing on the lungs. Focus on your breath. Inhale, exhale, and keep that going. If it makes a loud noise, that's okay. Rather you breathe silly and loud than not breathe at all. Here we go. That's two minutes in. Give me a little bit more. Just a little bit more pace. Point one, point two. add it back on. You have one more minute here, and then you get to walk. Like I said, it's gonna feel tough. We're warming up the body. This is the moment we really get to warm it up. Use it. It's 40 minutes. We go, we dedicate it, right? Dedicate ourselves 40 minutes, start to finish. Not just on the hard parts. Even on the warm up. 30 seconds left, pick it up again. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Don't take it easy today, all right? 40 minutes, challenge yourself. I promise you, you're not gonna get off the treadmill and be like, I can't believe I pushed myself so hard. Dang, I'm so mad. It doesn't happen. That doesn't ever happen, okay? Five, four, three, two. Now three, oh, four, oh. I want you to take it down. Take some nice, good deep breaths. We're only here for a minute. All right. We start with our fastest pace. Five, five, nine, oh. One minute, remember it's one, two, three intervals. We're gonna run for one minute, two minutes, three minutes. Yeah, so six minutes straight, but we're slowly decreasing our pace. Okay, so our one minute's at five, five, nine, oh. 
Our two minutes had a 4-0, I'm sorry, a 5-0, 8-0. And our three minute set a 4-5, 7-0. Don't look at what my fingers are doing. They don't connect with my mouth sometimes, okay? If you missed any of those incline changes or those pace changes, don't worry, I'm gonna cue them again and they'll be over here. We start 5-5, five, 9-0. Five, oh. It's one minute, okay? You just ran for three. One minute's chump change. We go in five, four, three, two, right into that work. Let's go pick it up. Five, five. Let's go, baby. Nine, oh, one minute on the clock. How many times are we doing this? One, two, three, four, five rounds, same thing, okay? We're doing it over and over again, five times. You got it, you got it, you got it. Here's the hard part though. We're gonna keep running. You only get a 30 minute walk and recover. 30 minute. <laughs> You're like, wait, wait, you said that was hard. You said 30 minute, 30 second. Walk and recovery. So pretty much this whole workout, we're running. Oh gosh, the shoes, they're untied. And you know what? I get, whenever you get new shoes, man, don't you think the shoelaces just don't tie? These aren't new, I just never wear them. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's take it down. Five, oh, eight, oh. And you're here for two minutes. Now, you took off that pace. The lungs can kind of open up. You feel like you can breathe a little bit easier. That's what, that's the best part about this workout. You get the hard one done, out of the way. Usually, like I said, we do it in reverse. We take the hard one last. We're slowly building up. Now we're slowly taking away. It's like a less pressure on the brain. So enjoy it. This is where you can kind of tune out the rest of the world and get lost in your running. Where does your mind go? Get creative, think of new things in your head. This running, honestly, is my peace, right? I work out a lot of my own stuff in my head, right? Put a lot of things in perspective, come up with new creative ideas. Right? Also, sometimes you internally argue with yourself, and that's just a good way to get to know who you are. You gotta, you gotta have to figure yourself out, you know? All right, we got one minute, one minute left. Then we take it down again for a three minute. It gets easier. You have the time's a little longer, but if you can hold this, you can hold it a little bit softer on that pace. Let's go, baby. I'm making it happen today. Squeeze the arms, right? Slight grip in the hands. I said this in my earlier videos. Like you're holding two little tiny bags of chips. You didn't try and crush those delicious chips. You're just holding on to them, softly. That's the grip in your hands. Let's go, baby. Get ready. Four, five, seven, oh. For three minutes in 10, in eight. In six, five, four, three, two, take it off some more. Now, listen, look around, feel your body, it's even softer. So quitting is not an option, right? It keeps getting easier. So if you're one of those people that you like those shorter intervals, that the hard part is just running, endurance based style, longer, longer time periods. All right, it's gonna be hard, but you're gonna do it. It's not something you can't finish, right? It's not like something unobtainable in your brain. You've already ran three minutes. Whoops, just three minutes more at a better pace. Just coast, baby, just breathe. Listen, you can make this super hard. If you're running at a nine, an eight, and a seven, whoo, baby. You fast, all right? You're one minute down, two more to go. Then we do it again. We have a 30 second walk and recovery in between. Just trying to distract you to keep yourself moving. Not focused on this moment, right? Cause I, it's easy. It's easy when things are a little bit longer. We're not really doing a lot of creative movements on this machine. It's one, one movement, running forward. So what starts to happen? Your brain's like, oh God, 
you start thinking about it. You have, you like, you don't have to think about the motion. So your brain starts to drift. I wanna stop. This is hard. I can't breathe, right? Your head's gonna tell you all these things. It's gonna try to trick you. Don't listen. Don't listen. You can do this, all right? If this is the hardest thing you've ever done in your life, let it be that. Accept the challenge. Okay, don't be a quitter. You know you're not a quitter. You know that word, right? Anybody tells you you quit. You don't have to be a competitive person. Somebody calls you a quitter or you feel like you quit, that messes you up. I know. I know, trust me. That's why it's important. You pick the workout. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's challenging, but you're gonna get it done. You have about 30 seconds left. You get to walk and recover. Block number one, all done. Four more times, just like that. 30 seconds, keep going. If you can, and you wanna hydrate, try to do it in this 30 second recovery, okay? We go down to a 3-0, 4-0. 15 seconds. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. 10, nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, let's go. Three, oh, four, oh. Let me tell you something about 30 seconds. It's not a lot of time. <laughs> Don't get super comfortable. Quickly hydrate. I like to squish around my mouth. Make sure my whole mouth is hydrated. I'm like getting that gook in there. Here, I get, you know, you know. If you're a runner, you know, the gook, bleh. Here we go. And if you haven't, just keep running, it's gonna come. <laughs> you get like this chalky gook in your mouth from all the breathing. The water tastes delicious after that. You're like, it's just water. It's quite hydrating. All right, 20 seconds. We go back to that one minute boost. Five, five, nine, oh. You ready? Oh no. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. We went over time. I was talking too long. I was talking too long. Keep it up, keep it up. I know. Sometimes I'll be just jabbering. Yeah, I told you 30 seconds goes by so quick. Good news. You only have 30 seconds left. All right? We're gonna take it down to our 5-0. To our 8-0. 5-0 to 8-0. Decrease. So if you're at that nine, you're taking a whole 1.0 off. We go in 10, in eight. See, it's only a minute here. A minute of hard work. Five, four, three, two, take it down. Five, oh, eight, oh. Let it out. Change your pace, right? For some reason, when you drop, it feels like you can expand more when you inhale and it kind of takes a big pressure off of you. Enjoy that moment, right? But don't lose track of what's important, and that's to keep going. Just adjust and keep going. Let's go, one minute left. Come by quick now, huh? Yeah, you're gonna be done before you know it. That first one yo, is usually the hardest. This is just like the unknown. I always say, it's not hard, it's just new. When something's new, yeah, your body just is like, it's not familiar, right? It doesn't act accordingly. Once you do it a couple times, you good. <clears throat> oh yeah, one more minute. Let's go. I thought we were already two minutes done already. You know, I said it once, I said it again. I'm great at math. <laughs> Sarcasm, okay? Sarcasm. Let's go, guys. Keep pumping. Keep working. <sighs> Enjoy the moment here. You have 30 seconds. I know it might feel a little bit breathy now, right? Now you're looking at the time. You're like, oh my God, 30 more seconds? Yes. That's gonna get a little lighter, though. Gonna get a little easier. You just gotta stay hungry for it. You can't quit, right? The last three minutes is you battling you. Because you can hold the pace. It's you convincing yourself that you're tired and you should stop. And you should stop, okay? You stop doing that. Three, 
two, one, four, five. You got it. Seven, oh. Lighter. Easier. Softer. Shake out the arms, right? Every now and then, what happens? You start to get a little stressed. Shoulders start to come up. So it tends the muscles a little too much. Shake out the arms and keep moving. You can do this. Listen, you're 30 seconds in. Two and a half to go. All you gotta do is a nice jog. It's a jog. It's not a run. You're jogging it out. Landing on the ball of your feet, pushing off. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. You're looking for that 30 second recovery. It's coming, baby. It's coming. Give me two more minutes here. This should be the fun part. This is almost like, just wait, okay? Maybe not in the next round, in round four and five, you're gonna start enjoying this three minute piece. You're gonna like the pace. It's comforting. Your body's warmed up. You're gonna be in that zone, okay? Maybe the next one. If it's not this one, it's gonna happen. And if it doesn't happen today, you can redo this video whenever you want. Look at that. Let's go, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. If this is your first time here, congratulations. You've become part of the family. You're not allowed to leave. I had somebody message me the other day. I just want to give a shout out because it really just spoke to my heart. I started, I posted something on my social media. I tried it like a, a ballroom dance. Yeah, and I'm not a skilled trained dancer. I did a performance and somebody wrote under the, like, thank you. Cause I wrote, I was trying new things, right? And I said, I'm trying new things with you. That's why I started to run. And it just put it in perspective. You know, like it means a lot to just, just to see you guys trying and to hear the feedback. It really does touch my heart. And I just want to give you all the love back because for me to think that I'm doing, I'm doing something that terrifies me, right? By like dancing and that you guys are all doing that. Every time you step on this treadmill and you're going for it and you don't quit. Woo! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's it right there. That's Ibex running. One love. One team right here. All right, let's keep it up. 15 seconds. You're gonna walk and recover. Can you believe that? And six, five, four, three, two. Now walk it out. Three, oh, four, oh. Remember to wet your whistle at this point, okay? I'm gonna pay attention, okay? We're not gonna cheat the next minute, okay? We're gonna do that whole full minute boost. You got 15 seconds. But it's in round number three. I don't care if that sounds silly. Let it out. Five. We go five, five, eight, oh. Five, five, nine, oh. In three, two, one. Pick it up. Five, five, nine, oh. Going a little faster now, you know? It's only a minute. Squeezing that core, pumping the arms. We get to take off some pace in about 45 seconds. Let's go, baby. Round three, that's where we wanna be. Halfway through the workout here. This one takes us over the hump. How are we feeling? Feeling stronger? That's what starts to happen. You just like, your body starts to wake up. It's ready for more. 25 seconds. <clears throat> we take it down. 5-0, 8-0, two minute run. 15 seconds. Smile, it's happening. I know, just think after this, you only run at this pace for two more minutes for the rest of the workout. Five, four, three, two, take it down. 5-0, 8-0. It's gonna take some adjustment, right? You're taking some pace off. Slow it down. Focus on the breath. You're all right. You get a little crampy, it's okay. Try to fight through it. Slow down the pace if you have a cramp. Keep moving. You got it, guys. Anna, 
still work right here. 90 seconds. Keep it up. Keep it going. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Feels good, right? I'm getting sweaty. I've been sweaty lately. I've been drinking all those, um, the salts, the electrolyte salts. But let me tell you, you get extra sweaty when you drink salts. <laughs> those like slimy sweat. The good sweat, the good sweat, you know? Guess what? <clears throat> One more minute. One more minute. Breathe. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. What do you want today? Huh? You want change? You want work? You want to feel stronger, lighter in your skin? Here we go. This is the moment. You get to choose right here, right now, right? It's a 40 minute workout. We're 20 minutes in. You got 20 minutes left. You get to choose, right? So what? You think you've been a failure your whole entire life. So what? You think you quit on everything you start. That was then. This moment is now, all right? I know six minutes running straight, and you gotta do that five times in a row. I get it. I get it, trust me. It sounds hard. It feels hard. Is it gonna be worth it? Take it down, four, five, seven, oh. Yes, the answer is yes. Anytime you put yourself through something that's gonna make you come out better, stronger, happier in the end, worth it. Worth it. Let's go, baby. Uh-huh. Three minutes right here. And guess what? I get to flip the page. You know what that means? We're almost there. We're almost done. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. That's why it's coming. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, my hair's starting to get curly. Let's go, baby. Pump it out. I told you. Now, this pace, right? You might be tired, but you're like, you're sitting here in this pace and you're not really focused on how much time is left. You're just like, okay, I'm just gonna wait until she says I have a 30 second recovery. You're slowly getting into the zone where you can run forever. I swear it's there. I swear it's real, okay? You just gotta get your body used to moving, used to breathing. And that's why it's good that we're slowly taking it off the pace because you're gonna get into the sweet zone, right? I'll call it the sweet zone. And it just doesn't feel too stressful. Feels nice. It's light. There's light to it. All right? You have 90 seconds left. The first three rounds, right? We're almost done. We do it two more times. And nobody's gonna quit, right? We're not gonna quit. We can see that we have two more rounds left. How silly would it be to go all this way and now shut the treadmill off and call it a day and say, I did what I needed to do. No, you didn't. You picked a 40 minute, uh, one, two, three workout. All right, not a 22 minute, one, two, three workout. Get back on, let's go. I know that's gonna hit for somebody. Listen, you could be in the shittiest mood, right? And you could fight with yourself the whole entire time you're here. But once you finish, I promise you, you're gonna feel a little bit better. Come on. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. 30 seconds. You get a 30 second recovery. You're almost there. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit longer. You're strong. You're tough. You're not a quitter. I know this. I know this. 15 seconds. Here we go. Last 10. Nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two. Good. Take it off. You're at 3040. You're walking for 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. Our merch is coming out soon. Uh huh. Pun and comma, if you're excited. If you're excited. We've got some good stuff coming. I can't wait. Da, 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 da. All right, we do it again. I told you 30 seconds, chump change right here. Chump change. Five, four, 
three, two, five, five, nine, oh, one minute. Right back to the work. You don't allow your body enough time to warm, to cool down. Ain't an option today, okay? We got 12 more minutes of work. 12 more minutes. Just think about it. Now start taking it off. One minute at a time. It's gonna feel a whole lot easier working in reverse. 30 seconds comes down. 30 seconds to go. Oh, we run. Oh, we work. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on guys. This isn't the point to start slowing down. Start giving up. Go for it. I feel it in my abs. Every stride I take. Here we go. 5-0, 8 in three, two, one, take it down. A little bit easier. I know, I burp a lot when I run. It's so weird. This, all the bubbles. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Home stretch. Just think, you have one more after this. Don't even count this one, okay? We're in it, it's happening. It's getting done. We're living in this moment. I want you to also think, here's a little, little thing to kind of think about, reflection. If I am cueing you down, right? Cueing you down means we're about to go into our 30 second recovery and I, call, I cue the last 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight. Do you start taking off your pace when I start cueing down? Do you start? right when I say to slow down your pace when it's not time yet but you're already slowing it down I'm not mad at you I'm not mad at you I'm not coming down on you I want you to start changing your perspective and ask yourself why you couldn't hold out the last 10 seconds don't have to tell me don't have to tell nobody all right I just want you to really start talking to yourself and getting to know you for who you are because that's a silly thing to do tell you why let me double check the time we got 30 seconds we take down that pace why is this silly because if you start doing that there you're gonna start doing that everywhere so maybe you're really strict on a diet right now and you're like you're one of those people who take off the last 10 seconds right you quit a little bit early we're gonna take down the pace I'll continue my story five four three two Four, five, seven, oh. God, now can I go back to the story? Does my brain work like that? Hello. Here we go. You're one of those people. And that my example was, you're taking off the last 10 seconds before those 10 seconds are done. Now, going back, say you're on a strict diet and you've been so good, right? When you're like, I've been so good, I can eat this, right? And you convince yourself that it's okay to do this. And I don't say there's nothing wrong, you could do it. But ask yourself, when does it cross over, right? From cheating, right? From giving up, for having that negative mindset, to not saying discipline. Because there's something beautiful in discipline, right? To say, I'm gonna do something and finish it from start to finish, no cheating. You're gonna know, right? Training for a marathon, you set up a schedule, and say you have every Friday you have hard runs. They start six miles, seven miles, eight miles. But that one day you're supposed to run seven miles, you only walk, you only run six. But you have it written down at seven. That's gonna mess with your head. That's all I'm trying to say. I just want you to walk the walk and talk the talk. Make your words match your actions, right? That's how discipline starts to happen. You don't have to like come up with these crazy ideas. Just be about it, right? Walk the walk, talk the talk. That's it. Simple as that. You start doing that, I bet you your life changes drastically. You take that into work. You take that into raising your kids. How many times we say, oh man, my kids act up. I'm gonna take their phones away. I'm gonna take it away. And we take it away by five minutes. But in our head, we're like, I'm taking it away for a whole day. Same thing, the same thing, right? Talk the talk, baby. Walk the walk. 
Here we go. One minute left. You gotta be about it, right? I beg running, be about it. <laughs> That's it. I like that as I get older, I think I hold my own word to myself as that's, my word is bonds. Like, I don't wanna break what I set my goals out to. I don't like it. It don't fit well in me. I can guarantee you, if you think about it, it ain't gonna fit well with you and it's gonna start understanding who you are. And if you can nip it in the butt, you're gonna live a nice, nice life. 30 seconds. You guys? You realize we have one more round left. <laughs> 10 seconds. Here we go, here we go. I know, I talk. I sometimes go on a tangent. It's like a spiritual rant, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, three, oh, four, oh. It's not like, you know, spiritual meaning, just understanding who you are, right? Add to the core. That, meaning that. That's what running did for me. Like, really did. Like, go, go against my fears. Like, what am I scared of? Why do I need to stop? Why am I, like, saying, like, I can't make it? Three, two, one. I've had all of these dialogues with myself. That's why I try to talk to you guys about it. So hopefully it resonates with you guys. I've been my own worst enemy, you know? I never thought I could run 26 miles. Never thought. Never. I could barely run a mile when I started, right? To running 26. But you know what I did? I just constantly believed that I could do it. And I just always let that be number one. The doubt, it was there, right? I never went in and be like, oh, I didn't question myself. I just, there wasn't bad days. There was, right? But I just always like, babe, you got this. You can do this. 15 seconds. Be your own best friend. 10, nine, eight. Last time we can go into this one minute boost. Three, two, let's go 5 0 Two minutes, five minutes left of running. That finish line is right up there. All we're doing is running there. Nothing special. We've been here before. Four other times. Now we just finish. Now we just coast. Maybe finally hit that zone, that sweet spot. Enjoy it. You earned it. So, finish up our two minute run, our three minute jog, 30 second recovery, full recovery, full cool down. So, come on, stay with me. Seven more minutes to the end of the workout. Come on, come on. One foot in front of the other. Good. You have a minute left here. One minute left, four minutes left of running. One more minute here at our two minute run. Three minute jog coming your way. Tell me how you feeling. It's like, yeah, you're tired, but you're good. Are you good? We talked a lot today. I hope you feel good. Come on, come on, come on. Getting ready to go to that sweet spot in 30 more seconds. Relax the face. Every now and then, when I'm running on the street, I do this. Sometimes you start to hold tension in like your face and your jaw, like, especially the same, it's sunny out, and you're squinting. Ooh, all that tension, man. You don't realize it, but if you can relax your face, almost like it goes all the way down. You can relax your neck, you can relax your shoulder. We hold tension, we start going everywhere. Relax it out. Go take it down. Four, five, seven, oh. The sweet spot jog. Here we go. Shake out the arms. Keep moving. We're here, baby. Take it one minute at a time. How you guys feeling? I mean, think about it. One, two, three, four, four. That's only two minutes. 
you basically run for 37, 36 minutes straight. Now, you're not a runner, right? And you come to those a lot of the intervals, I really want you to give yourself a pat on the back because endurance space running and like those short interval sprint running, them are two different, two different styles of working out on the treadmill. Both equally as far, just completely different. So maybe you're used to one way, today you try something different. Pat on the back, baby. Two minutes left. I kind of think endurance space running is harder for me. I think after three minutes, right, when you are on three minutes straight, anything after that, it starts to tap into your brain, not your body. So it's, like I said, it's one motion. So you gotta stay mentally strong. That's why I think the endurance space runners running is a little, a little bit more harder, but everybody's different. That's just my, just my opinion. We got one minute, 20 seconds to that finish line. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Still at that four five, still at that seven zero. We're not moving, we're staying strong, completing this workout. 60, 60 more seconds. Oh yeah, baby. Come on, we're tough, we're strong. We're not gonna quit to the very end. When I start queuing 10 seconds down, we're gonna run until I hit number one. Good, 20 seconds down, four, zero to go. My shoes on tight again. Blech. That's what I think about that. I'm switching over to Velcro shoes. Somebody bring them back, okay? Nike, Brooks, any of you guys, a really good running shoe or maybe just put like a velcro piece over this of the lace because i can't handle it because <laughs> if i'm gonna tell you why all right five four three two 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 and one three oh four oh you want to know why because every time i take a couple seconds off that's a couple seconds I feel like I should be working more. Like it's a couple seconds off, I get mad at myself because I lost them, okay? Isn't that crazy? That's how crazy you become with running. When every second counts. You have eight, seven, six. You can keep it at this pace, 3040. Or you can take it a little bit down, all right? It's 3040. We're in our full cool down, so. Go ahead, give me a little bit less on that pace. How's that feel? Feel good? Yeah, babe, you're in that. We're one minute here, one minute in our official cool down. Then finito. Then you out. Let's roll the shoulders down and back. I feel it after a while. I'll start to like roll my shoulders forward, right? So just kind of roll them back. Let out that air. You made it. You made it. Woo! Six times five. That's 30 minutes of running straight. I should have just did that from the get-go. I could have told you. But we had a warm-up, right? 33 minutes of running. That's the correct number. So, 33 minutes, man. We take it down. Two, five, three, five, and three, two, one. Take it down. Let's recap. We have five rounds of the same exact thing, okay? We had one, two, three intervals. The shorter time, fastest pace, right? So we increased our time and lessened the pace. Two minutes, a little bit softer. Three minutes, nice soft jog. Once we finish, we win our reward. It's our secret emoji of the day, ding! Island vibes, man, here we go. So, if you finish this workout, right? Because this is what we're doing. We on a vacation now, okay? Go ahead, text that in the comments. Let everybody know that you finished, right? And if you see anybody, give them a high five. Give them a heart. One love, one run. Imagine how hard this was for you. And this could be 10 times harder for somebody else. So just be a person just to pat somebody else on the back and say good job. Because you don't know if they have that. And this might be, they might find it silly and they're not really confident. And your little high five, your little love might set them over the edge. Maybe they run a marathon. You can hit that stop button in three, 
two, one. This is Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel. One, two, three intervals. And I'll see you next time.